Liebe Freunde der Jungen Union, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today and to get the opportunity to speak in front of so many involved young Christian Democrats. As Vice Chairman of KDU Sweden, I can tell you that the friendship between our organizations are greatly appreciated. It always brings much appreciation and inspiration to come to your Congress and to the Deutschlandtag, not only because of uh, your superiority in numbers when gathering, but first and foremost because of uh, the political discussions being held here. The leaders of Jung und Jun and CDU always sends out a clear message, and so did Bundeskanzler Merkel yesterday as well. A clear message regarding both the economy and the Europe. And for sure, uh, these, these are the largest questions for our future. We work closely with uh, Jung und Jun within YEP, where I am very glad to be a colleague of uh, Benedict Pettering. And, uh, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and we share very uh, many common values. We also share the pride of, uh, of the Christian democratic heritage of Europe and the European Union. We are not afraid to fight together when the Eurocrats have forgotten the principle of subsidiarity when even members of the EPP have decided to propose to introduce gender quotas uh, for publicly listed companies and other things which just don't suit a center-right organization. We also share many values on the national level, like not being ashamed of being conservative and always to be clear on our priorities, to fight for family values and against feminism. We, we take a stand against the political elite from the left who always are open to trendy policies rather than proposing responsible policies. You have your Bundestagswahl next year and the year after we have the parliamentary elections in Sweden. Europe is really at a turning point and there are few countries who are responsible both economically and politically. And I dare to say that our two countries, Germany and Sweden, are one of the two that actually managed to do just that. My sincere hope is that CDU will, be, will conti continue to be in power in Germany in the foreseeable fut future. I think it's crucial not just for Germany but also for Europe. Mm -hmm. And even if Sweden might be small, small in comparison, I hope that we will follow your example the next year after. What Europe reads, needs right now is to cut the public spending and to be responsible. And that responsibility must come both from the banks, from politicians, and of course, from everyone else. If we are to trust one another within this union, which I believe is crucial for moving forward, we all need to do what's right. And it needs to happen both on the top level, but also from the bottom up. Well, these are one of the things that I really look forward to discussing with you in the future. I want to thank you for uh, letting us be here and for being our friends, uh, both in private, but of course also politically. I have my fingers crossed for you next year. Thank you so much.